Hello, Eminence Studios here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at a mock or a mod of mine, and basically, uh, this is the War Machine Buster set that came out back in 2019, and this is just a modified version of that. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it and just look at some of the things that I threw in here, and uh, just look at some of the major changes I have. So, uh, in order to do that, you do kind of need a reference of the usual one. So, I do have my handy dandy box here. So, here's the original version, if I can fit him in the screen, so you can look at him there. I did not buy two of these sets, so I apologize about that, but this still works out. But yeah, there's the original version, and we're going to be taking a quick look at my new version that I decided to heavily modify in order to make it a little more accurate, or well, I wouldn't necessarily say accurate, but just a little bit better comparable to what you would actually see in like a movie or or something like that so it, it just looks a lot better in my opinion and that was my goal overall to make this look better um than it originally was so which i think i did pretty well so first thing i want to note is uh that i the major change one major change that i knew i had to do with this and uh, is the elbows so the, obviously the elbows when you first get this are actually on like these tire pieces with uh, some pieces here just holding it at a 90 degree angle so the only range of motion you got is this pivot here and then obviously the fingers but that was about it which was kind of a bummer for me I felt like these arms were just too good to be just sitting there at a 90 degree angle so what I did is I made them able to be moved so they can also come off very easily so these are just using these little one by one uh, pieces here with like the little bars I forget ex uh, what exactly they're called but basically it's using one of those and then a plug in a uh, stud with a peg hole here and you just plug that in, and that worked perfectly for an elbow joint. Um, I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this, is putting in an elbow joint. This really made the swing a lot better, um, and a lot more aesthetically pleasing, being said the original version did not have the elbow joint, so that's one nice thing about that. So, you can put them in a lot better punching poses, and... Also, you still have that little pivot there at the uh, at the elbow too. So, and I would have to say one bad thing about this design uh, element is the fact that they do fall off easily if you do move them all around a lot, especially the pivot. That would definitely make them fall off. But that's the only downside. Plus, I just set this on my shelf. I do not play with this a whole lot um, or mess with it. So I really just set it on my shelf. So I don't worry. Uh, about that too much so another thing here is to note that I did take off the little muscle pod here and actually made my own gun here a little bit better a little bit bigger probably a little more accurate so but yeah there you go I did modify it a little bit and basically you can have it aimed down so it can be undeployed and then you can deploy it um, you don't even have to take it all the way off necessarily, but it's just easier um, And you just put it right here and there you go and it's got pretty good posability, you know You lift it up a little bit and it does go all the way around his head. So That's really nice really nice element that I I thought I had to uh, put in there was Modifying that gun to make it a little more accurate a little bit better comparable to what it was so and then another major thing that I thought was really bad with this model, um, and I wouldn't even say necessarily bad, but it was just not the best I thought Lego could do, was the chest. Uh, so as you can see, the chest here, it looks a lot better and a lot more compact than what this did. As you can see here, there's a lot of gappage, and it just does not look too good. You also have these big uh, pieces here that give a lot more gappage. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but a lot, there's a lot more gap right here, just in this general area where his head and his torso connect. 
uh, in the original version, and I remedied that to an extent. Uh, there are like a little bit of gaps there and there, which actually these are covered up because I did put a, um, a two by four there. Um, so those are actually covered up. Those are just you know there. And then as far as these gaps go, there's really no fixing those ones. These are just small enough that you won't even be able to look at those. So, but yeah, I mean all in all, I think that looks really good. It opens off a lot better. Um, and there you go. You also do. I also did uh, uh, keep the little stud shooter action things here, and those work perfectly well for like an energy core or like a main energy supply. Um, so that really works out there. Uh, and you can actually still put a figure in this, which is really nice. Um, I think that's great that I designed it where you could still put. A figure in this specific model so uh, here's my figure I had to find him and this is the team suit version of, of uh, War Machine and you're gonna have to fit them under the uh, these little angular plates here which is not too bad because he still fits you just put them there tighten those up or we'll close this up then you can push all of these in collapse the head and there you go so yeah a lot finer a lot better in that sense is it's very easy to open this up a lot better and and take the figure in and out and still have a limited amount of gappage um so that's one nice thing about this you can take the figure out semi easily and it still looks good. Um, now about these gaps here, they honestly don't bother me, especially when this head is down, because they are just like, because there's no lights passing in there really, at all. Um, and then as well as these gaps here, don't really bug me too much, and as well as those, because they're you know you're not gonna really notice those near as much. But uh, I guess you could decide if you really wanted to put like some uh, those thinner plate, the like half plates, so like. Half of these plates here, uh, which are really hard to find, and I don't even think they exist, actually. But you can remedy, remedy that a little bit to an extent, but for the most part, that's about as good as you're going to get. So um, Now, how I actually designed this was I actually used these uh, alternate versions here, these alternate uh, hinge pieces here, and just uh, modified those very very minorly and uh and then this is basically the same function i mean the function is literally exactly the same it's just using a bigger piece here to kind of fill in some of the gappage there and just make it a whole lot better so another thing i did do that was very vital was i actually decrease the shoulder height the uh shoulder pollen height because as you can see on the box they are like literally above his head and that does not look good at all so that's something I completely just scrapped from it um, it used these really big uh, one by two bricks here these big the big red ones and that just did not look good so I decided to just completely scrap that and just literally basically just redesign this whole entire top section I mean this whole entire top is Literally just completely redesigned almost. Of course, um, I had to modify it to get fill in some of the gaps. But for the most part, it looks really good. And it looks a heck of a lot better in my opinion than the original version did. So, and with all that said, another thing I did do... Other than all that, is I pretty much kept everything else as the same except for the legs. I did modify the legs a little bit. I actually made them a little bit taller. So as you can see, there's some added pieces here, which I can uh, always get like some curved pieces here, just some like uh, one by two curved slope pieces here and there. Um, these I'm not going to put any slope or pieces on there. Again, I could always put you know some one by twos here if I can get some. I got to order some, so some pieces in order to do that but it's definitely something that I could do as far as the inside of the legs they were pretty good 
And a lot of people actually don't like the way the legs are designed. That's because they're kind of stuck at that 90 degree angle, kind of like the elbows were. I'm actually fine with the legs. I think the legs look fine. Uh, especially from uh, most poses, if you're going to pose in like some sort of action pose, like a running pose. Um, which, of course, these toes, actually, I don't like the design of the feet on this one near as much as the last uh, whole cluster we got before this one, the one prior. But you can get them in some running poses, some like stomping poses and stuff. Um, obviously, I'm not going to play with this guy too much, but he he can do that stuff. So, um, but yeah, I, I did make him a little bit taller in that sense. So, but as far as the feet go, the feet are basically the same. In fact, I don't even think I changed anything with the feet. The legs, I did change torso oh, quite a bit. Arms, very, very minor, minorly. Uh, really just fix those elbows. And then this, this really this whole chest section and torso area is the main place I focused on because that's the main place that really bugged me about this original model was that. So again, the toes you can still wiggle the toes in and out here, which I, again I don't really like the in and out design of these toes, but they still work. They make them look like a uh, like a War Machine Buster. So again, you do have the extra. Uh, joints here at the elbows which and I did decide to keep these because they do work if you're gonna you know lift them up uh, lift them above his head you know they, they work and I think that's fine um, that's again that's one thing bad about this figure is the toes do fall off quite a bit which is kind of annoying but I could always fix that I think I think that'd be a pretty easy fix just to add a couple pieces here and there and then you obviously got the elbow joints here now that I had to redesign that, and then you do get a little bit more uh, motion than you would normally get, just above 90 there, so, and you do have a little bit of a gap there, too, but I think that's fine, I think that works out, and, you know, there's really nothing you can do that, uh, due to that to make it much better, you also do uh, have these stud shooters that you can deploy, and then the fingers, uh, of course, are 100% posable, exactly the same as you would expect so now to do some comparisons so I do have a couple figures here that I do want to kind of compare with this I'm going to zoom out a little bit so the first one is actually my also modified version of uh, the new Hulk duster from the Infinity War movie and you can definitely tell a height difference, uh, difference in this guy I mean He's like a whole head taller than uh, this whole cluster here. Um, he also, uh, uh, and the major reason for that is I completely redesigned this whole uh, top section here. So that's one of the main re reasons. And then also the legs I put up by like two uh, studs, I believe. So um, as you can tell here, I also do not screw with the legs a whole lot here either. I think the legs look fine at that 90 degree angle. But, yeah, this is, will probably do, uh, I'll probably do a separate video on this uh, particular whole cluster. We'll just see about that. But, yeah, you can definitely tell a height difference. Um, and then the next figure I do want to show off here to give him a little bit of challenge is the Igor Mark 38. Um, so, here we go. A little bit better there. But, um... Yeah, you can definitely tell height difference is very much there, especially against uh, Igor here. So, again, uh, tell me in the comment section below if you uh, want to see reviews over the Igor as well as the uh, whole cluster. I will gladly do that. So, but yeah, um, there is my modified version of the War Machine Books Buster from 2018. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I really hope you take some inspiration from this model. I really tried a whole lot of stuff to make this look as good as possible uh, with the limited amount of pieces that I do have uh, right now. Uh, I'm sure that should change in the next year, so I'll have a ton of pieces, and I'll be able to make mocks 20 times better than this one. But for the most part, this is about as best as I can do. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you think this is a good model? Do you think that... Uh, 
this benefits any of you for making uh, models like this one. And uh, yeah, just be sure to let me know. But that's pretty much all i got to say in this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out some of my other reviews. There is a one of my uh, mech suits there. This is an Iron Patriot mech. I really hope you go look at that one. That was a really cool mock that I did. So that's pretty much all i got to say in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.